I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. This video is one in my series about the Betaflight Arming Prevention Status Codes, and normally those status codes describe reasons why your quadcopter will refuse to arm. But this week, it's... This is not a weekly series. I don't know why I said this week. <laughs> this video is a little bit different. We're going to talk about a reason why your quadcopter suddenly disarms as you're flying. It just drops out of the air. And the arming status code we're talking about today is runaway. Stay tuned. Before we get into the video, let me remind you that this is one in a series of videos all about the Betaflight arming status codes. And only real nerds are going to watch every single one of them. I got you, nerds. <laughs> But I do suggest that you check out the very first one, which gives an introduction to the arming status codes and talks about some of the ways to troubleshoot when Betaflight refuses to arm. And I think everybody should check it out. Link in the video description to the whole playlist. The runaway arming status code is designed to prevent what we call a Tasmanian devil flip out. Well, uh, it refers back to the old Looney Tunes character, the Tasmanian devil who spun around and around wildly. There are things you can do to screw up the configuration of your quadcopter that cause when you try to when you arm it and you raise the throttle, if you're lucky, it just goes and flips over. And if you're unlucky, it goes and flies 50 feet in a random direction. Hopefully it doesn't hit anybody or anything. The Betaflight devs realized that they could detect when this problem was happening and then they could shut the quad down and disarm it. So if you're getting the runaway status flag, it means that Betaflight thinks that this problem is happening and we got to troubleshoot why that why that's occurring. Now, if this is happening as soon as you arm, if you arm the quad and as soon as you go to fly, boop, it suddenly maybe it twitches violently and then does disarm. What that means is that you probably screwed something up. But the good news is it's relatively easy to fix those things. There's a checklist of things you can check and that will, will tell you what the checklist is. There's another thing that happens where you're actually flying your quad and then suddenly for no apparent reason it drops out of the air. And that is a little bit different. But let's take the first one first. Now it turns out that this problem is so common that I actually have a macro created to write out the instructions of how to troubleshoot it. So let's go ahead and look through these things. What can cause a TAS flip out? Number one, clockwise prop installed on counterclockwise spinning motor or vice versa. So the leading edge of the prop, that is the high edge of the prop, needs to be facing the direction that the motor is spinning. And if, usually this mistake happens when you're just in a little bit too much of a hurry and you put your props on wrong. There's another way it can happen though here in Betaflight, we'll go to the configuration tab and we'll look at this option. Motor direction is reversed. And you can see that this diagram shows what direction Betaflight thinks the motors are going. And if I tick that box, the motor direction reverses itself. Now there's a common misconception about this option, which is that this option reverses the motors. That is not what it does. It tells Betaflight whether you have reversed the motors from the usual way that it's done. To actually reverse the motors, you need to either go into BL Heli Suite and reverse them there, or you can do it by flipping any two of the three motor wires where they connect to the ESC. This tells Betaflight the direction that it should expect the motors to go. It doesn't actually reverse the motors. So if you have ticked this box, but then you put your props on the standard way because you forgot that you ticked this box, you got your props on wrong, and your quad's gonna flip out. The next way that this happens is if your flight controller is not facing the right direction. The way to check that is in Betaflight to go to the setup tab and then pick up your quadcopter and pitch it forwards, pitch it backwards. So this is the front of the quad in the diagram, forward, back, left, right, yaw, and make sure that on all three axes, the 3D model moves the same as the actual quadcopter that you're holding in your hand. If I pitch the quad forward, but the 3D model pitches backward, then something is wrong with my quadcopter's alignment. If your 3D model does not move correctly, then you need to fix the board alignment. And I've got a video about that. Here it is, I'll link it in the video description. It describes how to use the board align feature 
to correct your board alignment. And if you've got a flight controller with signal wires at the corners, it also describes how to remap motors to get the motors mapped correctly. That brings us to point number three, motors not wired correctly. To check this, go to the motors tab, make sure your props are off and plug a battery into your quadcopter. Check this box and then raise the sliders one at a time and make note of the motor numbers here in the diagram, one, two, three, and four. And as you raise the sliders, a motor will begin to spin and you wanna make sure that the correct motor is spinning. When you raise slider one, the back right motor should spin and so forth. Also double check the motor direction that it's correct as well. The direction, so motor number one should be spinning clockwise. If either the motor number or the motor direction is not correct, then the quadcopter will try to flip out and you'll get the runaway flag when you try and go fly it. You can fix it using that same video, the board alignment video that I linked previously. It'll show you how to fix that. The other, that, that video talks about using resource reassignment to reorder the, number, the, the motors, but of course you can also just move your motor signal wires if you prefer. It's up to you which of those you find easiest to do. The fourth reason is motors spinning the wrong direction, and that's also something you're gonna check in the motors tab, make sure they're spinning the correct direction. If a motor's spinning the wrong direction, reverse it using BL Heli, or swap any two of the three motor wires where they con connect to the ESC. You're also gonna to wanna to check if you have that motors reversed option enabled, in which case all the motors will be spinning the wrong direction, and it's up to you whether you wanna fly with reverse props or not. Some people feel there are some advantages. That's a topic for a different video. So those are the major things that you need to check if your quadcopter is trying to flip out and you're getting the runaway uh, army status flag. And I have helped so many people with this issue. And so many times they have said, I checked all those things. That's not it. What else could it be? There isn't a lot else that it could be. If you've been playing with custom mixers, if you've been in the command line playing with custom mixers, that could have caused it but most of you aren't doing that. A lot of times people check, they double check, they triple check, and then the fourth time they go back and check, suddenly they notice, oh, my motors were spinning the wrong direction. It sounds dumb, but it, it happens. So very carefully double check everything that's on this list, double and triple check it. I've written this as carefully as I can to try and help you get everything exactly right. And if your quad is still flipping out, then that's pretty weird. Now, what about the situation where your quadcopter randomly disarms as you're trying to fly and says run away? This one is a little bit different. What's happening here is that the quadcopter detects the, the, the runaway scenario when it's just repeatedly not doing what it thinks it's supposed to be doing. Whenever the PID controller is saying to the motors, do this, and that's not happening. The, the flight controller goes, something's wrong here, shut down, just shut down. So the first thing I want you to understand is that runaway can happen when you're just idling the motors. So especially if your props are off. If you, if you arm the quad with the props off and just let it sit, sometimes it'll disarm and say run away because this, it's just sitting there kind of microscopically vibrating and the PID, PID controller goes, something isn't right here and it shuts down. Because it has, doesn't have props on, it can't affect its orientation and the PID controller detects that and shuts it down. Another thing I've seen people do is they'll arm the quad and they'll pick it up with the, with the props off. They'll pick it up and they'll kind of shake it and wiggle it and then it disarms and they go, it's broken. Why is it disarming? It's, it's actually a safety check that just don't do that. But what, what about the scenario where you go to fly the quad and while you're flying it, like you've taken off and you're flying it, then suddenly it disarms. Here's an example of that uh, that I experienced. This example is going to go by pretty quick, so I'll show it to you again in slow motion. But I take off here and then I bump the table and the quadcopter disarms. Watch it again in slow motion. Here's what's going on there. You want anti-TAS to be active when you first arm the quad because that's when the flip out is gonna happen. But if you get the quad into the air and you're flying, 
now anti-TAS should be disabled because obviously the quad is basically capable of flying. And at that point, if there's ever an error that needs to be corrected, don't just shut down, fight the error, make the quad fly. And the threshold is based on the throttle position. The default, I think, is 25% throttle position for more than... There's a time on it, too. I think it's a half a second. I could go back and check, but why would I do that? So if you have a quad like the Acrobee I was flying in that video that has a very high... It has a low, th low hover point, you may not actually get the throttle above 25%. You may be hovering at 20 or 22% throttle. You get into the air and now suddenly you bunk into something and the quad disarms because it thinks, it thinks you haven't really gotten into the air yet. What you can do in that situation is change that threshold to be lower. So for example, I'm going to go to the command line here in beta flight and type get runaway. It's runaway takeoff prevention. And there's a runaway takeoff deactivate delay. That's how long the throttle has to be raised before runaway takeoff prevention deactivates. And runaway takeoff deactivate throttle percent, which is the throttle percent at which runaway takeoff prevention will be deactivated. So if you've got a quad with a very low hover point, you may want to lower That is a long thing to type. You may want to lower that to a lower value. And then when your throttle gets above that value, it'll be the runaway will be disabled. But don't set it to too low of a value because as you go to take off, maybe you just ah, raise the throttle and now the quad is flipping out, but the throttle got above the threshold. And okay, so you're going to want to be a little bit careful about this. Don't lower it any lower than is necessary. But if you're getting has disarms in midair, it may be that your throttle is not getting high enough and you can lower it just a little bit. Or you can disable it entirely. You can just set runaway takeoff prevention equals off and then that protection is gone. But it does mean that if you do one of those mistakes, like put your props on wrong, blah, the quad's going to flip out. Joshua from the future here with one more reason you might want to deactivate this. And that is that if your quadcopter gets bumped just after it takes off, before the threshold kicks in, which that's what happened to my Acrobee. I actually raised the throttle above 25%, but it wasn't raised above 25% for at least half a second. And then the quad bumped the table and it suddenly disarmed because it thought it was having a TAS problem. If you're concerned about that happening to you, then you may want to disable this. A, a big place where this happens is for racers who are taking off from starting blocks. And as they begin to arm the quad, maybe they start to raise the throttle and pitch forward just a little bit to preload their quad. And then in that scenario, you can get a TAS and it'll disarm just as the starting gun is going off and you're supposed to be flying. The other scenario where the guy was sliding down the slide with his freestyle quad, that would be a scenario if you're going to do that kind of move where you would need to disable this protection because the throttle is down, but the quadcopter is still bumping and jiggling and moving and you don't want it to disarm itself. So now you know what the runaway flag means and you know how to troubleshoot it. And a whole lot of people are going to end up watching this video because a whole lot of people get the runaway flag as they're trying to set their quad up. They make one of those four mistakes I listed earlier in the video. Uh, I hope this video has been useful to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.